Barnsley have won the Cup, but that was before the First World War. Leicester City have been in four finals, but never won it. The current sides drew 2-2 on their first meeting, and this is what happened tonight, witnessed by Clive Tilsley. Half the First Division has survived the opening skirmishes of the FA Cup. Barnsley and Leicester amongst a pack of dark horses, hoping to repeat the exploits of Sunderland and Portsmouth last year and win promotion too. Barnsley held a two-goal lead going into the last 20 minutes at Leicester a week ago. It wasn't quite enough. Their attack, led by Wayne Biggins, an early season signing from Stoke, and David Kerry, who three years ago left Barnsley for Nottingham Forest for three quarters of a million pounds. It was David Oldfield's equaliser, 12 minutes from time, that forced this replay, successfully converted from a striker to a midfield player by Leicester last season. Number five, Steve Walsh, has been successfully converted from a centre-half to a centre-forward on one or two occasions recently. Teenage find Julian Jochim and Lee Philpott, a November buy from Cambridge, are the supply lines from the flanks. Both Barnsley and Leicester have beaten the leaders Newcastle this season. That's uh, a top reference in the first division. Shows what they can do. Steve Walsh has started at the back for Leicester, but he started at the back on Saturday. And after a minute, he burst forward to take up an attacking position. Some managers wait until kickoff to reveal their hand. Brian Little waits a little longer. Barnsley are mid-table, but still eyeing the playoffs. Leicester are fifth and hoping to avoid the playoffs this time. And there is Walsh quickly at the heart of the action. Lee Philpott. A little bit of space here for Steve Thompson. As Joe Chim and Lowe in support. This is Oldfield. And given straight to Fleming. Wayne Biggins. It's a Barnsley throw. Steve Thompson. Gary Mills, the Leicester captain. Support from Richard Smith. Oldfield, Joe Chim. He's run a free kick. The tackle was by Charlie Bishop. Rain driving down, and the wind is at Leicester's backs. And that's a strong header. And it was Smith who got forward to ring the alarm bells in the Barnsley defence. And he was pretty nigh unchallenged. Brought it perfectly onto his head, and it picked up pace as it bounced. Anyways, by Rammel. This is Joe Chim. Mills. Toss back in towards Walsh, who stayed forward. Where did Smith come from? But they lost Richard Smith altogether there. Scored a, a famous cup goal for Leicester last season in the third round in the last minute against Crystal Palace. Famous because it was their first FA Cup win of any kind. For seven years, they've got a dreadful recent record in the competition. Good control from Rammel, on by Redford. Rammel with a chance to stretch Leicester. In towards Kerry arriving, good defending. Great header by Mike Whitlow under pressure, facing his own goal. And David Kerry loitering with intent behind him. Top-rate defending by the former Leeds man. Barnsley corner, aimed in towards Biggins. This is Robinson. Taggart trying to make it awkward. O'Connell was in there too. Still Taggart, goalkeeper stranded, wouldn't come for Kerry. Fleming. Leicester have reorganised a little bit, and again the final ball was poor. Here goes David Lowe for Leicester. Phil Pop breaking beyond him, he had Joe Chim to his right, but Fleming saw it all happening and chose his time to intercept.
Oldfield. Those causing them some problems. Walsh is forward this time. It's ten out as far as Oldfield. It's the closest we've come. David Oldfield, who scored that vital goal in the closing stages a week ago. Almost pouncing once more. Steve Walsh was up this time. And it just wouldn't come down quickly enough for Oldfield. It was a devil of a bounce. Biggins. Break from midfield is by Brendan O'Connell. He's a solitary figure for Barnsley for the moment. And it didn't really need that challenge from Whitlow. O'Connell didn't have anywhere to go. by Walsh. Robinson couldn't quite gather it. Thompson did. This is Joe Chim leading the breakout now for Leicester. And there are plenty in it. He's got Mills steaming up at his shoulder. Uses him as the decoy. Goes alone! That's just a brilliant goal by Julian Joe Chim. 18 years of age and the world at his feet. There's a real buzz around Filbert Street every time this young man picks the ball up. He's only been on the scene since the start of October, and that's why they're so excited about him. He looks like he'll be off to the World Youth Championships in uh, Australia in March with the England team, and that will be Leicester City's loss. Redfern to deliver. In towards Rammel. Strong punch by Poole under very strong pressure. Fleming, Redfern again, Rammel climbing once more, away by Walsh, Kerry with a chance! Always rising, just a little bit too much for David Kerry. But it's been a hectic few minutes in and around Kevin Poole's goal mouth. Joachim, trying to get Mills on his way, he just stolen a march on Andy Rammel. Early cross, Joachim's arriving again, but the header by David Lowe. Oh, what a good save it was from Lee Butler. Lowe got up really well, it was an excellent early cross from Gary Mills. Lowe up first, up highest and up longest. Only Butler stood between he and doubling Leicester City's money. Space for Whitlow from the corner. Thompson. Headed by Smith. And Butler's in charge again. Here goes Taggart. Whitlow. Robinson. Rammel is the target. Nice to hold off Mills. In towards Curry. This came across him a little bit quickly. There are plenty of options for Barnsley inside the penalty area now. If the cross is good enough, that one wasn't quite. Pearson's header. Curry. Throw in to Barnsley. Biggins. Good turn, shot blocked, still a chance! Ah! What a chance for Rammel! He'll toss and turn a little tonight, thinking about that one. Unless Barsley can find a late equaliser. Big in shot deflected, 
His first and second touches just couldn't quite dig it out for him, but it didn't miss by much, did it? Robinson having to take a few chances. Bishop. Finding a way out. Walsh with the header, though. Barnsley throw. Whitlow. Julian Joachim. Thompson. Whitlow. It's forced back as far as low. And now Mills. Didn't quite get hold of it as he wished. Phil Pot. Let it bend forward. Lee Butler's handling was safe and sound. Barnsley is still alive, just. Biggins. Cleared by Hill. The wind still swirling around. Really has been a, an excellent contest in view of the overhead conditions. Archdeacon, got hold of that, didn't he? Is that a good equaliser, or is that a good equaliser? Last minute, last throw of the dice. I know it, Archdeacon has matched Julian Joe Jim's first half effort for Leicester. Great strike. Well, that goal meant half an hour of extra time. There were no further goals then, so then it was penalties. It's a relatively new innovation in the FA Cup, an innovation that has no support amongst the traditionalists. But when the replay is drawn after extra time, it goes to penalties. Lee Butler is the Barnsley keeper. Number eight, Steve Thompson, is the regular Leicester City penalty taker. Two to his name already this season. And one of the outstanding players on the night. Hold on to your seats, here we go. Thompson successful left for Leicester. 1-0 in the shootout to the visitors. Butler went the right way, but not far enough the right way. David Curry will take the first Barnsley penalty. Kevin Poole, who's been sporting that bandaged knee for half the night. Yeah! And if he'd stayed where he was, he'd have probably stopped that. But Curry has scored, and it's 1-1 in the shootout. <laughs> Gary Mills was Leicester City's penalty taker last season. All that experience. And Butler didn't even have to make a stop. High and wide. And Gary Mills has to sweat. It'll be Wayne Biggins to try and make it advantage Barnsley. Biggins has done his bit. Driven powerfully.
David Oldfield next. It is his equaliser that made the replay necessary. And he's again kept Leicester City's interest in the outcome of the tie alive. Owen Archdeacon, whose magnificent blast in the final minute of normal time took us to extra time. Strokes this one in. 3-2 Barnsley, they haven't missed one yet. Archdeacon's had quite a night. Thirty-two-year-old Colin Gibson, who's been through so much down the years with Aston Villa and Manchester United. But this is a real test of your nerve and experience. And he's up to it. But if Barnsley keeps scoring, none of this will matter. Young Wayne Bollymore, 22 years of age. A free transfer capture from Manchester United. And he's put Barnsley one kick away. Bollymore, Archdeacon, Biggins and Curry all successful for Barnsley. It means that Steve Walsh simply has to score if Leicester are to have any hope at all. There's uh, a distraction inside the goal mouth, and Butler's even saved that. A balloon suddenly floated across. Here goes Walsh. Oh, he got his hands to it, but couldn't quite keep it out. And Walsh takes us down to the very last kick. So nearly, Butler the hero. But if Barnsley had to have a hero here and now, it's going to be Neil Redfern. It's 4 all in the penalty shootout. It's the last kick against an injured goalkeeper. Opportunity knocks for Neil Redfern. Come on down. Keeps Leicester City alive. It was well struck at a decent sort of height, but a good save, a miraculous save for a keeper carrying an injury. 4-4 at the end of the penalty competition. We go to sudden death. Well, Kevin Poole has been with Brian Little both at Aston Villa and Middlesbrough. Alan Evans. Little's cohort out to offer some congratulations and some advice. But the Leicester City goalkeeper has come up with a save which just doubles the tension because now one miss and you're out. Any volunteers? He's been to a couple of FA Cup quarterfinals with uh, Cambridge United in recent times. Leicester City's newest acquisition. Gary Mills and Neil Redfern could console each other on the halfway line. There, the two have missed. And watch and hope and wait. Lee Philpott. He saved another. And once again, Barnsley one kick away. Philpott denied by Butler. Captain's contribution. And Barnsley are on the verge once more. 24 year old Mark Robinson, the right back. He looks frightened to death, bless him. 
There's a toilet roll been hurled onto the pitch. There's a policeman clearing the goal mouth. He's got to wait and wait for the biggest moment of his young footballing career. He's actually Barnes's longest serving player at the age of 24. It all comes down to this. Mark Robinson is the hero. And Barnsley are through. Leicester City again take the first exit off the road to Wembley. Promotion all that concerns them now. It's been Yorkshire's night. It may be Yorkshire's year. Barnsley, the sixth White Rose Club, through to the round four. They'll meet West Ham United here on Sunday, thanks to Mark Robinson's penalty at the end of a most dramatic night of cup football. Well, it's not really a way to win or lose, is it? But it's thrilling to watch. I mean, you can't take that away. The penalties are a thrill. It's a bad way to go for any side, but as you say, great to watch. But, you know, they showed a lot of characters to get back into the game, Barnsley. Mm -hmm. And they were happy there at the end. So, well, they won't celebrate anymore if they win the cup. No, that's but right. That boy, Mark Robbins, who scored the winner, won't play against West Ham on Sunday because he's got a suspension, which is unlucky for him. He's a hero tonight. He'll be watching on he Sunday. He probably would have missed it anyway because he was injured in the crush there at the end <laughs> when they were on top of him. But there were two cracking goals to enjoy in, in uh, normal play, weren't there? Oh, oh, really terrific goals. And actually, the first goal, the coaching manual goes right out the window. <laughs> Good job, too, Alan. Because Jokesham, he comes inside here. Now, the angle he comes in inside it, you would think the only way he's going to shoot is with his left foot. But he hits it outside the right peg. And that is absolute class personified. Mm. You can't ask for more than that. That's brilliant. And the equaliser wasn't far behind either. Archdeacon gets it. Great first touch. Gets on his favoured left foot. And bang. That's about 35 yards out. Gives the goalkeeper no chance. Goals fitting to win any cup tie. Sure, and a good pitch for that particular match too, rather well, unlike the other one. Now, of course, we've got uh, a.